Okay, so now we're just going to be doing a few stretches. So you can do these with a the partner, you can do them with a the towel and just pull in. But we're just going to do them with a the partner here because it's just uh, kind of handy for to go through. Okay, so Stephen's here uh, and we're just doing P and F stretch for the hamstring. So bring your right leg up, Stephen. Right leg up and you keep the left leg straight there. Okay, so all we're doing here is he keeps this right leg straight. We want to hit the hamstrings. So we're just going back and pushing back until Stephen tells me when. So that's tight enough there. You feel that tight, Stephen? Yeah, yeah. So we'll hold that maybe, say, 15, 20 seconds. And then we're gonna, he's going to drive back against me. And we're gonna, we'll just do this twice now just to show. I'd either do it three, maybe even up to four or five times and really kind of get a good stretch out of it, okay? So now you're going to try and drive me back with your heel, Stephen. Keep the back side in the ground, really drive me back. So we're just five, ten seconds, just him really trying to push me back as best he can. And relax. Okay, so same leg again, we're going to stretch, keeping the leg straight. And just tell me when. Okay, so you can see already we've made a bit of an improvement. We've went a wee bit further. So you can imagine if you've done three, four, five of these, you know, obviously you wouldn't get too far. You'd keep pushing on a wee bit and you make progress. So if you're doing this on a regular basis, you notice great uh, improvement in your hamstring flexibility. And then drive me back now again, Stephen. Just really try and push me back. That's better there. And relax. And then gently down. Sit down. It's okay. Then obviously you do the other leg. Okay, but just for time-wise now, we'll go into the grinds. So feet out nice and wide. So feet out as wide as you can. So as wide as you can go. Okay, so Stephen's out as wide as he can. Ain't sitting in tight putting pressure there on his ankles, just so he's not moving anywhere. Okay, he's holding my hands, he's breathing in as he goes back. So lean back, breathe in, and then breathe out coming forward. And he's gonna tell me when again. Yeah. Okay, so that's Stephen there. So we're just gonna hold this for say 15, 20 seconds. And Stephen is all the time just breathing in through the nose, breathing out, and even kind of slipping down further and further into the stretch if he can. So you can see there another wee movement there, just as he was breathing out. I'm just holding that. And then gently back. Okay, so now Steve's gonna try and widen his legs again if he can. So he mightn't get much further, but that's okay. So I'm putting the pressure now on his kind of shin, calf. Okay, so we're going again, breathe in as you go back. Breathe out, coming forward. Tell me when. Okay, so we're just holding this again. And Steve's just breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And keep trying to go a wee bit further each time if you can. So there we go, we've seen big movement there. So it's just breathing in, breathing out. So a lot of this kind of stuff originates from yoga type stuff. We just breathe out and kind of keep diving more into the stretch. So again, we could hold this for 15, 20 seconds or so. So we'll just go a bit quicker. Now we just do last time, feet wider again. So I'm putting my feet on his knees. Okay, in tight, so we're playing a bit of pressure. He's breathing in, going back. Breathing out, coming forward. And he's telling me when again. So we're just holding that there. And he's just breathing in through the nose and breathing out. And each time he's breathing out, he's trying to go a bit further into the stretch. So there we go, good movement there again. I'm just holding it there tight. And again, we could hold this for 15, 20 seconds, okay? Just relax. Okay, so there's loads of variation there in PNF stretches. But uh, they're very good common hamstring grinds is where people are very stiff. So then they're great stretch. So try and do them with a partner, do them consistently over a period of time, you'll notice good benefits, all right? Okay, so now we're just gonna try and stretch the sides here. Stretch your lats. So you want the two arms straight up above the head. You're tilting across to your right as far as you can. And then deep breath in through the nose. And then breathe out, drive down lower. Deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out, drive down lower. Last time, deep breath in through the nose. Breathe out, drive down lower. So again, you'll feel a big stretch here. If you haven't done this before, you'll find this pretty sore. Hold that for 15, 20 seconds, say. Keep driving down lower if you can. And then gently back up, okay? And then obviously you do the same on the other side, and then you can just kind of shake it out. So you kind of, again, that'll be something you progress to. You'd want to be exercising a while and kind of doing, you know, the basic kind of over to the side stretch. But that's a real good stretch for the lats and for the, the side of the back, okay? Okay, so now this, we're just going to do kind of hands behind the back, kind of prayers. So it's um, real good for your shoulder flexibility. So as you can hold the hands here in front, you want to match your fingers up behind the back, roll them round, 
and try and tuck them in under the shoulder blades and bring the hands tight together. Okay, so you want to hold it there nice and tight, okay, as best you can. And you'll find uh, if you haven't done this before, you'll be very stiff. Lads, and, uh, especially, be very stiff on this one. They might even cramp up, okay, but it just takes practice and just kind of keep it going. The ladies tend to find it a bit easier, tend to be a bit more flexible in the shoulders. But um, if you can't do it, then the only cure for that is to just try and keep doing it and just build up on it, okay? So it'll be very good for your shoulder flexibility.